Why do we write? People have been writing for thousands of years, using various symbols and drawings to communicate with each other. Writing has been an important tool that allows people to transmit information to lots of people. And unlike spoken language, it has preserved messages and languages used over time. Until recently, humans did not have the technology necessary to record audio files and listen to them later. So written information was the only source we had. Compiled writings are the best sources we have to learn about human history. So, writing was an ancient art form. But with so many forms of communication available today, is writing even worthwhile? Why should we write in this world? Should we even learn to write in school? And haven't all the good ideas already been written by now anyway? These days, having so many forms of quick and easy communication, we tend to focus what we call writing on more artistic forms. We write about what's important to us. Some write about scientific discoveries or technological advances, while others, like David Sedaris, write stories about their own lives that make the reader laugh to the point of tears. We have poems to comfort and poems to break hearts, poems to laugh with and poems to cry with. The thing about poetry, as with all writing, is that a sonnet isn't about having 14 lines of a particular rhythm, like iambic pentameter for the English sonnet, and a ballad isn't about couplets with refrains and alternate lines, as Wikipedia defines it. No. A ballad is a song that sings of love as lovers dance, and a sonnet might be a rhythmic glimpse of unrequited love. These types of poems can be whatever you want them to be, whatever you make them to be. To answer the question about all the good things having already been written, I ask another question. Have you ever used the exact same words in the same sequence two different days? We create speech and writing every day. Every day it is different and unique because every day is different and unique. You put the words together. Humans are creative, innately creative. That's why we're different than other mammals, and that is why, although scientifically speaking, we may also be called animals, we are not actually animals. If you ask a group of kindergartners, who here is creative? They will all enthusiastically raise their hands. If you ask a class of 8th graders the same question, about half the hands will go up. By 12th grade, only one or two deem themselves creative individuals. If we learn from outside sources that we are perhaps not the artist of the family since another sibling already grabbed that award, we tend to suffocate the creativity within us believing that we are in fact not creative and not suitable for a creative type of career. Did you know that the best businessmen, scientists, mathematicians, stockbrokers, and accountants have always been very creative people? They might not be painters or musicians, but they see the patterns within the nature of numbers and trends. Think of a fractal. A fractal is visually represented using purely mathematical data, yet it is one of the most artistic, beautiful, eye-appealing designs which appeared in nature since the beginning of time. Writing is a wonderful way that so many people in this fast-paced technological age can embrace creativity. It might be poetry or this, it might be fictional stories or a memoir. Whatever it is, it's uniquely you. With computers and the internet, we're able to share our writing and inspire others so much more easily than ever before. Writing is easy and cheap, unlike a new instrument or painting set, and we can do it anywhere. A lot of people like to write because it reveals what they're actually thinking or feeling, but might have been afraid or unable to admit. One thing that we might be losing in this technological age is the art of reflection. Some people take long walks in the morning to reflect on their moments, their problems, their relationships, their lives. But for a lot of people, deep self-reflection comes out best while writing. So whatever your reason, start writing today. If you don't have a reason, just start writing about anything. 
Maybe your pen will discover a reason for you to write.